Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Let It Die. So I'm not sure if this is going to be a Let's Play Extra or if it's just going to be a regular episode. Uh, depends how much, how long it'll take, but it's really, um, you know, it'll be in the same, it'll be in the right spot in the series anyway, so yeah, it's no real concern. So last episode I was kind of rushed to show off a couple of things and uh, I might have forgot to mention one or two things too. So we were busy leveling up this fighter to be ready to take on Battle to the Top. And I'll show off. Let's see. So you want to definitely level up to the maximum your HP, your strength and vitality. Vitality for survivability. Level up these stats and the all-rounder actually has a ridiculous amount of uh, vitality for their level for their class it's a lot of vitality i don't know if they trump the five star defender but maybe they do not sure i do know that if you compare them to a defender they still have a respectable amount of vitality in comparison even to a defender class it looks like we had a terrible roll very few extra stats here it was only luck has extra stats so uh, the dexterity actually is enough to be able to wield still quite a decent amount of guns in the game. You ha start off with 117 dex and very few, very few range weapons or dex requiring weapons uh, require much more than 117. I think the absolute maximum for a fully leveled up plus 14 weapon might be around 130 dex. For a dex requiring weapon and by the time we get that far we're not going to care about using a dex weapon on an all-rounder class so keep your i'll put it this way if you're a shooter if you go through the gun shooting enemies to death level up dex if you go through the game clubbing enemies to death level up strength and leave the other one unleveled uh, you can level up stamina not overly important. I think luck is more important, so you get more uh, kill coins from the red chests and silver chests you kick open. Uh, stamina and dexterity are, remain underleveled. I believe we ate four or five turtles last episode, so I think I definitely want to eat one more golden beast and level up stamina. Now the moment we fully max out this six star fighter will be granted the option to uncap them and level up their stats even further. But I'm not going to take that option just yet. I would recommend to hold off on uncapping your fighter until you are... Use the underlevel fighter strategy so you can equip the giant killer decal which will make it much easier for you to deal with enemies. Where's that giant? <laughs> just, I was about to call it Giant Eater. You Purchase one of these. Now, I used to recommend to dual wield the Giant uh, Killer decal by having the Giant Killer non-premium and premium equipped. So your two first decal slots would be equipped with this uh, damage increasing decal. Are you sure? Unfortunately, I can no longer recommend that because I found the Giant Killer seems to drop much more rarely on my main account when I'm um, doing the stews to get decals. So considering that it seems rather rare these days, I can't recommend people to use the dual Giant Killer strategy. But I think my first run up to Escalator to Heaven, I was using a six star all-rounder, white steel gear, white steel weapon, uh, the melee weapon, two giant killers, vampire, and I believe two defense decals. And I'd, I'd like to stick with that rough build. Vampire. Are you 100% Ooh, painful. There go my uh, silver skill shrooms. I'm just going to equip. Uh, what would I equip? I'll equip super alloy instead. Are you sure? I know it only works when enemies are above 
70% health, but what can you do? Now, uh, here we're gonna add the defensive decals. Where are they? Ah, here they are. The DIY Enthusiasts Premium. If you don't have the DIY Enthusiasts Premium, I'd say use the regular DIY Enthusiasts and use a... Use a Emerald on the other slot. So I'm just gonna... I might as well like, emulate mostly. So this is a build I would recommend if you're just first starting out on Battle to the Top. And I realize that showing this off now is kind of a stupid thing <laughs> because I should have shown that off last episode or two episodes ago. I don't know. I don't know how my uh, uploads are Without doing with this series. No glory, no Buy some gear. I'm gonna need a lot of cash, actually. I don't know if this is a good idea. You know what? I'm gonna check my, uh, my other character. So our stats are very decent here. 10,000 health, 252 stamina, 190 strength, 117 dex, 114 fits, which is the big one. That's the big change that you're definitely going to notice when going up to battle to the top. Compared here, the vitality, only 85. Uh, less strength, actually, than the uh, five-star striker. Um, interesting. That is curious. I think if he was a perfect rolled maximum possible strength stats fighter, he would have 190. I'm not sure. I don't remember. But yeah, our stamina isn't even maxed out, and we've already got the same amount of stamina. We've got less health, it seems. Uh, curious. But I think the striker actually has a lot of health. I think that's his second strong stat. The strength and health of a striker is uh, more than more than regular. So that's another strong stat. Anyway, on the whole, the uh, all-rounder six-star is just better in most ways than, uh, than anything else you have access to at that point. Uh, okay, storage. Let's store half of his gear, the stuff that we're gonna be using to go and climb. And I think I'll show off the mixed material exit this time. Just to show off something. Uh, I might do I might do a run to floor 50 to show off the um, the entire thing. Might make that next episode. I know I'm stretching this out more than I wanted to. I kind of wanted to do just one. <laughs> I wanted to do just two episodes. One episode talking about everything Battle to the Top related. One episode showing off all of the Jackal related stuff. But I realized that there's actually more to talk about concerning Battle to the Top than I realized getting back into it. I haven't been playing Let It Die for a long time. I've been playing other games. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. What is going on here? Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of provisions. Do I need all that stuff? I'm yeah, gonna take out the hats. Um, it's not ideal, actually. You know what? I've got fungus. I think I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna equip the, uh, the slightly weaker gear as well and just uh, clean the here, uh, heal it up with fun fungus quickly. Okay, you get get in there. So here's an important note, if you are climbing all the way to floor 150 for the first time, I do recommend going with healthy gear that is not even close to bro uh, broken. You will regret it. Actually, why don't we just make this part one of the floor 50 climb? That's what I'm going to do, might as well. Let's see, weapons, armors, and fungus. Where are you? Uh, I'm gonna take a regular live stream for our, for our run. There it is. I've got nine of them. 
What I'm going to show off now, I would not recommend doing, just because of how relatively healthy all of the stuff I'm planning to fix is. Uh, I wouldn't use a fun fungus on items that uh, on forceman gear that isn't below half durability, because it's kind of a waste. You're wasting all those hits. Uh, the chest. Here we go. Like these weapons, I definitely not use the fun fungus on, and the uh, chest, I wouldn't. The hats and legs are uh, fun fungus ready, they're fun fungus material right now, but uh, do everything. Fix us up. Here we go. Bam. Actually, do I have the static massager? I'm gonna check. Hello. I haven't spoken to you in a while. Please don't punish me for ignoring you by showing me 500 upgraded. Ah, oh, cool, you didn't. Mm, do -do 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 -do. Static massager, where are you? Do I have it? Maybe not. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have the static massager. I remember when Battle to the Top was first released, they. the official Japanese wiki. Uh, they recommended heavily to use the Static Massager. It was a very strong weapon to help you reach floor 50 back in the day. I think it still is a very strong weapon in its own right. Of course, type weapon. Uh, most Pierce weapons will scale off Dexterity. And we've chose to underlevel Dexterity, for, so for our playstyle it won't be ideal. Um, but it's a good weapon. I don't have it. I think um, it's a very strong utility weapon. You can you can target en enemies, well, not enemies. You can target beasts stuck to walls, like snails, and you can zap them off the wall. You can kill beasts that are lying on the floor easily by targeting them and uh, zapping them. You can break enemy equipment very easily using the static massager, and equipment breaking is a good strategy since all of the enemies are haters. Uh, with a lot of defense, often you'll find if you're going up against like a defender class that it's easier to do some armor breakage before trying to kill them. I've gone up against enemy hunters, which were so tanky that it took me minutes upon minutes of just punching, uh, hitting them in the face with the spike crusher before I was able to kill them. And at that point I would wish that I had an uh, armor breaking weapon on me. So since poison no longer works and all the enemies are hater fight, a poison weapon bringing that with you is a bad idea. Being a rage move weapon with you would be the second best choice. Third best choice would to be bringing a armor breakage weapon with you. So I'm going to look if I haven't got a good rage move or armor breakage type weapon. I'll go to the shopkeeper and ask him. Oh, it's you. Let's see now. I haven't, I haven't upgraded my weapons properly. Is the thing. You know, if you're following this as like a guy or something, you know, take your time and upgrade weapons and make sure your weapons are maxed out tier 3 or at the start of tier 4 when you bring them up with you to, for this level of content. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm either going to bring the Dragon Buster Sword with me or what else? I haven't leveled up the Bowling Stomper, that's got a, the Bowling Crusher, it's uh, highest tier, is really good as a rage move weapon. Poison weapons no longer viable. Is there anything else? Hmm. No, I don't think so. Uh, the lightning wand is terrible. The fire wand, I highly recommend that weapon. Upgrade it as soon as you can. It becomes one of the top tier endgame weapons. It's good for... Uh, it does four hits of damage. When you point the wand forward, uh, the act of Pushing the wand forward is a melee attack, and the fire spray that comes out of it comes out with three orbs of fire that shoot off in a mid uh, mid range distance. Each of those fire orbs can impact with the enemy, doing one point of impact, uh, one 
damage point of impacts each and it will catch the enemy on fire which will do damage over time and armor durability breakage over time as well plus it does a really decent amount of damage it scales with uh, dexterity the wand uh, the wand and the glinty magnum or the bronson magnum when fully upgraded those are two weapons i highly recommend for all the end game including escalator to heaven uh, especially the um, bronson magnum because it's uh, because of its pierce, um, it pierces through the first two targets, and it has a stopping power. It causes them to stagger, uh, allowing you to combo groups of haters to death if you're able to funnel them into tunnels and stuff like that. So Glinty Magnum and the Fire Wand, which I don't know if we have. I can't see it. Maybe I'm just getting blind or something. Um, yeah, those two weapons, highly recommended for the uh, very high end game. I use it to reach uh, floor 100 plus, you know. Not that I'm good at the end game. I haven't reached, uh, my maximum floor is 440. I haven't, I haven't reached, uh, <laughs> I haven't hit, I haven't gotten to the top of the tower yet. Uh, do 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 ah, I'm, um, I'm losing track of what I'm supposed to do. I need an armor breakage weapon. Give me that DBSS. Running late-ish on time now, especially if we're planning to reach floor 50. Give me that DBSS. It's not a DBSS re. If you could have access to a DBSS re, I'd recommend that over the DBSS. DBSS re. Where are you? Is it in here? Here it is. The uh, Recycle Point Exchange, if you are big into the uh, slot machine gambling uh, mushroom club, if you recycle all of your uh, duplicate decals, uh, where is it, recycle, if you get rid of all your dupes, um, I, w I would say choose not to get rid of unique uh, decals that you only have one of, let's say Volcano in this case, I've got one, keep it, you never know when you might need it. Uh, there's certain TDM decals that you seem to get a ton of and are really good for um, farming recycle points. Uh, well, farming, technically farming. You know, every every week you'll get a lot of uh, reward bags. You'll have a good chance of finding Master Onion Cutters. A super Volcano is a lot less rare than it used to be. Uh, golems, Golems, uh, Master Onion Cutters, uh, Super Volcano are very good for farming recycle points. Uh, 50,000 recycle points off of a single 4 star. The amount of recycle points you get is based off of the rarities already at some point. <laughs> legendary Hero. No, not getting rid of Legendary Hero. I could get rid of a Super Volcano. Oonk, 50k. <laughs> and let's see. Yeah, come on, I think it's a million. Oh shit. Gotta, uh, gotta uh, sacrifice, put my hand in there. Um, yeah, it's one million... Uh, what is this thing called? Recycle points? It's one million recycle points for the armor pieces. It's... Uh, how much is that? 500,000 recycle points for the uh, Camus RE blueprint and 500,000 recycle points for the Longsword RE. I believe it's 500,000, yeah, I'm counting the zeros, 500,000, so recycle 10 of those, yeah, recycle 10 4 stars and you have enough recycle points to buy the uh, longsword RE, easy enough to get, definitely recommend that weapon over the regular longsword, it's just, it's better in every way, it doesn't even have a, um, a much longer purchase cooldown, so it's just like, it's, it's just a higher tier, much better. I think it's got four times the durability of the regular DBSS. So we call it the DBSS, Dragon Buster Sword S, or uh, the RE version, the DBSS Re. Uh, all right, I think we're good. You will gain access to an extra decal slot if you fully level up a six star and uncap them, but we don't have access to the um, the materials it costs to uncap. Uh, well, we don't have access to the materials it will cost to uncap most things, especially the decal slot. I think it costs uh, 
Roids Black? I don't even think we've seen a Roids. Do we have access to Roids? Show me. There it is. This stuff. Yeah, it's gonna take forever grinding the uh, lowest grade splatter shrooms to gain access to the free Death Roids Black you need to uncap your decal slot for the first time. So yeah, that's why I recommend using the Giant Killer. Are we ready to go yet? I don't know. I think we are. I think we were ready. So two extra things you can do to prepare. Have a life room buff active. And another would be if you're using a rage move weapon to have eaten a mouse shroom before leaving. Just to have rage. Here we go. Because it is possible to get screwed on the first room you enter in Battle to the Top and have a group of Yotsuyama, uh, hardcore Yotsuyama enemies gang up on you with uh, difficult weapons to deal with and then having a rage move is uh, could mean the difference between life and death. Okay, so we're heading on. Am I completely 100% prepared? I believe so. My old uh, Loretta Striker which I would climb the tower with, was under leveled with dexterity stats and I do I could not tell you how much experience she had. I don't know if it was a 1 million, if it was 2 million. It was a lot of extra experience because as long as you don't max out your fighter there is no experience cap. With every kill you keep getting experience and that was I kept her under leveled solely to be able to have the giant killer uh, damage strategy and really to assure that giant killer will be active against most enemies, especially Yotsuyama type, is to just keep one stat completely unleveled. That's the safest way of uh, using that strategy. So what we have here, pretty much a, a very standard build of climbing. Uh, I never bring mushrooms with me. You could bring an extra life shroom, you could bring a tryptamine D, you could bring uh, solo shelter. I wouldn't recommend solo shelter for Battle to the Top. Because uh, if you know the layout of the floors, it's not going to take you long to climb. I think we're good. Let's go. You can skip this uh, cutscene. Don't know why. I mean, there's much more annoying cutscenes that I wish you could skip, like the the boss kill stamps. All right, off we go. I'm still wondering whether or not I should make this two episodes fused into one episode, or if I should release these as two separate episodes. And we're off. I should probably make it one episode, especially if I can get all the way to floor 50 next episode, and having explained everything so I can really tie it up nicely. Hello? Now, an added strategy that I would recommend is if you have access to it, bring a high level Kamas with you. The thing is, even if you keep your dexterity under leveled, you should have enough dex to be able to at least wield the Kamas on the all-rounder, and that's when you just start getting into these floors, because this situation for it had access to a relatively low noise gun like the Kamas. Different weapons have different amounts of sound they create and Kamas actually doesn't create hardly any sound. So we could easily aim at this guy from a distance and snipe him with the Kamas and fight him over here. That's how I would uh, deal with this situation if I had a Kamas, but I don't. So I'm gonna have to line of sight pull this guy. Luckily I was wrong and there wasn't another guy in this room. Uh, He's non hardcore you can tell by the uh, black uh, box. Yeah, I mean, in contained. Oh, let's do this one. A bit of a while. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah. Ow. Uh, 
On we go. I remember first getting into Battle to the Top. I would treat every beast and mushroom I found with the utmost respect because I was having issues getting to grasp with the item limits. This guy's hardcore. You can tell the red outlining uh, the uh, box containing his name and health is red. So, hardcore. They're tougher, they've got more defense and shit than uh, non-hardcore. You tend to see more hardcore than non-hardcore. Ratty. I see a mouse shroom. I'll take that with me. This is an unreliable fire. It's much it's very easy to catch yourself on fire. So I'm gonna take off my armor so I don't break it as I cook this mushroom. Here we go. Uh, kind of a dangerous strategy there, taking off your armor, especially at this level of difficulty. You don't know if there's an enemy you overlooked. They could easily one-shot you. So make sure you're completely clear uh, when you do this. Actually, uh, another decal I would suggest to possibly bring would be Treasure Hunter. After you beat Floor 40, you actually gain access to non-premium Giant Killer and Treasure Hunter. Treasure Hunter shows off all of the uh, everything on the floor. Shows off the exits, the enemy locations, the material and treasure chest locations. Everything. So yeah, I was going to show off the uh, mixed material routes, but considering that we're going all the way to the floor 50 exit, I'm not going to do that. There's no point in doing multiple runs. Oh, look at that. I don't know, we haven't nailed that stamp machine yet. Yeah, I'm not going to make two runs out of it. If you check the map on my first video, or if you just, I don't know, like, um, if you just like Google uh, Battle to the Top uh, material map or something like that, you'll find the, the Reddit post showing off where you find all the materials. Hmm, come here. A lot of enemies are weak to specifically the damage type fire plus slash making the Dragon Buster Sword a really good choice to bring with you in, in many situations. Hello, there's the chests. Green. Ah, perfect. Well done. I haven't been checking it, but I believe most enemies we've gone up against have been at least five levels higher than us, which is the, uh, the caveat to Giant Killer. It's definitely a great choice against the Jackals, which we're going to see soon-ish out of time. So either take care, see you next time, or see you in a minute.